morning from Uni Bolivia and the biggest mirror in the world. Today, we are exploring the Bolivian Altiplano. It all starts right now at 5.30 in the morning. Let's go. <laughs> All right, and welcome back to an absolutely perfect morning here in Bolivia. We have finally got the weather window that we've sort of been hoping for because uh, the first two days here were just absolutely hectic, crazy storm clouds. This is rainy season, which is why the, uh, the salt flats are flooded. But uh, we were sort of hoping to get, you know, lucky around midnight and around 11 so that you have that kind of uh, Milky Way window and the weather's just overnight crazy storms. And if you saw the, uh, the last video, you know, we got kind of rained out at the train cemetery. So here we are this morning with uh, one full hour of Milky Way to shoot the, uh, the vehicle here, our beautiful Land Cruiser, I almost said Rover, Land Cruiser. And, uh, and get the Milky Way sort of above it. So hopefully if we get a little bit more lucky uh, throughout this uh, video and the next one, we'll be able to uh, get the Milky Way a bit earlier in the night so it's more on the horizon. But still, that's getting very picky as landscape photographers because look at this, this is what we're here for. Now from here, the biggest mirrored reflection in the world, we're gonna move on into the Bolivian Altiplano driving through the desert towards the border with Chile. So lots to look forward to in this video, including lots of wildlife and amazing volcanoes and lakes and it's gonna be fun. This is uh, all part of the adventure here. So good start to our day in Bolivia. Second video, scouting out a camel. And we have left Uni behind, headed towards the Chilean border and a volcano called Oyagüe. And the scenery here is just outstanding. This is an incredible like rock valley, uh, part of Bolivia getting much closer to Chile. And you've got these volcanoes, just one after the other after the other. And it's a very uh, sort of high altitude region as well. So you've got a lot of uh, crazy weather like this rain's just pouring through and you're getting snow on the top of these volcanoes and uh, beautiful uh, kind of I don't know small clumps of grasses and mosses really really photogenic area the guys are loving this it is uh, photography paradise which is exactly why we're here so it's very cool very cool It is windy and we are at high altitude. This is 4,300 meters, give or take, at Laguna Cañapa. Last time I was here was 11 years ago, so just over a decade. Feels kind of surreal. I, uh, I remember these places being like super photogenic, but at the time I just had a crop sensor DSLR. It was a Canon T3i Rebel. So coming back here with the uh, A7R5 and and the amount of knowledge and the experience that I've gained over the last decade is, uh, is really nice because it is still extremely photogenic and I just happen to be a much better photographer now. So very cool to be uh, in this scenery and we've got flamingos here and just super dramatic landscapes. So the, uh, the next like two hours of this drive is gonna be hitting a couple of other lagoons along the way and we're the only people here, the only tourists on the road. Our driver Marco told us that most of the uh, sort of the tourist trail, I guess, for, um, for where we are. They hit this place in the morning. And I'm coming around the corner here and seeing a lot more flamingos. So yeah, very beautiful spot, Laguna Cañapa. And we have made it to our final destination today. This is Hotel Taika del Desierto in the middle of nowhere. This is an incredible location, absolutely unbelievable. I mean, it is a super dry desert, really, really high. We're at about 4,500 meters and uh, it's windy, it's cold, and we just got a pretty good sunset. But funny enough, the, uh, 
the angle of the main subject, which is this uh, Sioli Desert, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, apologies, is, uh, is gonna be much, much better at sunrise. So the whole crew has decided that, uh, you know, we're gonna kind of take it easy this evening, get up super early and photograph sunrise because I think it's gonna look absolutely incredible. So for you guys watching this video, that's gonna start right now. And good morning, buenos dias. From about 5.30 a.m. in the middle of the Bolivian Altiplano, we are at the Sioli Desert, which I mentioned just in the last piece of camera. Absolutely stunning stars this evening. Beautiful Milky Way coming over this kind of painted landscape. And now we're just waiting for the uh, golden hour. We don't want to stay here past sunrise because uh, it's going to just overexpose that hill. We're going to wait until we get a little bit more pastel kind of reds in the sky and then be able to kind of blend and, and create hopefully a really nice image. So you guys know what I'm talking about. You're all landscape photographers. But our day continues here. We're heading towards the border with Chile and exploring more of the Bolivian Altiplano. And uh, yeah, it's a good way to start. Calm, no wind, about minus one degrees Celsius. Perfect morning. And we have made it to a very famous location here in the Altiplano. This is called Rock Tree. You can see that formation there in the background behind me. And uh, this is a very unique kind of uh, erosion effect on these rocks. It kind of looks like Wadi Rum in Jordan or something out of Star Wars. And uh, this is a, a unique formation. Looks exactly like a tree and it is very much on the tourist trail towards the border with Chile. So we're stopping here for about 15 minutes, middle of the day, a couple of nice snapshots and then continue on. But very, very cool rock tree. And we have made it to Laguna, Colorado. This is a very incredible landscape, very famous location here in the Bolivian Altiplano. And I've got my tripod set up and I've got a polarizer on the front. This is like middle of the day. It's just about 12 noon and uh, really high sun. And it's getting this like really kind of harsh light on the, uh, on the lake. But I wanted to show you guys how the polarizer affects this scene because this is a, uh, a basic lake. So it's got uh, a lot of not toxic minerals, but a lot of borax in it. So it's not acidic, it's the opposite, it's basic. And uh, it's got an incredible red tinge to it. And you can't really see it unless you utilize your polarizer. So I'm gonna show you here using the uh, Sony a7R5. Got a polarizer in the front. And I'm just recording my screen to show you guys the difference. So this is without the polarizer. And then this is with the polarizer. And you can see the color just absolutely pops. It, it looks so much better. And uh, you really bring out a lot of the detail. And then from there, it's just finding a composition that you like. And this is such a giant landscape. There's a number of different uh, lookout points. And right now we're at the Aguas Calientes one, I believe. Aguas Calientes, the hot water lookout. Um, and there's just thousands of flamingos. What an incredible location. Very, very cool spot here in the Altiplano. <laughs>
Another example of why this place is so bloody photogenic, we are at the Salvador Dali sort of mountainside as part of the Altiplano adventure. I've got the uh, 100 to 400 photographing a pano of the, uh, the mountainside way off there in the background. I'm getting some incredible color in the hills, lots of reds and oranges and browns. It just looks absolutely fantastic. And then on this side, Got a whole bunch of tourists that have stopped to join us and uh, photographing the actual sort of Dali painting scene, which is these amazing rocks on the hillside with, uh, with again, just great colors. So this area is super photogenic, even during the day. It is uh, sort of early afternoon now. We're making our way towards Laguna Verde in Chile. And uh, I mean, I don't photograph at this hour very often, but with uh, scenes like this, it doesn't hurt. Still looks great. And we have made it to the Bolivian immigration. This is the old building. Uh, this is the, the border that I crossed multiple times when I was a tour leader back with G Adventures. They now have this beautiful building here, which is really cool to see. Um, it's definitely an improvement over uh, this one. This used to be a extremely remote border post. I mean, it still is like landscape wise, but we are headed in this direction to the Republica de Chile, entering Chile, headed towards San Pedro de Atacama. And this is the end of uh, the second video from Scouting Atacama. It's been an incredible journey thus far. Some amazing photos. I hope you've enjoyed some of the scenery. And, uh, and yeah, this is what the Altiplano is all about. So now we're going to head into uh, the Atacama, San Pedro, explore a bit of Chile, and then uh, make our way back to Bolivia. So I'll see you in the next video from San Pedro de Atacama. Look, seriously. Seriously. Says, go, go wide. Oh no, when you're wide, go telly. Can he make up his fucking mind? Sorry. Can he make up his mind? <laughs>